Hello everyone, before continuing on, make sure you have this handout. We know that matter is anything that has mass and takes up space, but we can classify matter even further. So what I mean by that is we can have different categories of matter. And that's what this lesson is about, the classification of matter. So I'm going to work through this mind map here. We're looking at matter, and it can be broken down into two general forms of matter. And then those general forms can be broken down even further into two types each. And we'll go through some examples of all of those different types of matter. So the first major distinction between types of matter is that matter can be either a pure substance or a mixture. So I've illustrated the difference here. A pure substance has all just one type of particle, symbolized by the blue circles, whereas a mixture would have more than one type of particle. So I've got blue circles and green squares in the substance. So pure substance has one type of particle, a mixture has more than one type of particle, and I could separate these different particles in the mixture so that I can break it down into more than one pure substance. For example, water is a pure substance, salt is a pure substance, I can have a mixture of salt water. I can boil the mixture of salt water so that all the water evaporates, and then I'm left with the salt in the bottom of my pot. Now, let's look at pure substances in more detail. A pure substance can be classified even further as either an element or a compound. So the distinction is an element contains particles from atoms that are from one element on the periodic table. A compound has particles that contain atoms from more than one element on the periodic table. Now we haven't really looked at the periodic table yet. We'll get to that later. But I think you're at least familiar with the concept that there are different elements. These elements are the simplest forms of, of uh, different kinds of matter. And if you have more than one type of atom combined, that's a compound. If you just have a single type of atom, that's an element. So for example, if you were to look at the periodic table, you would see there are there's, there's elements called hydrogen, and there's another element called oxygen. I'm sure you've heard of both of those. Those are elements on the periodic table. So if I have a sample of hydrogen, it contains only hydrogen atoms. If I have a sample of oxygen, it contains only oxygen atoms. Now, a compound on the other hand, one example is water. I'm sure you've heard of the chemical formula for water is H2O. The symbols H and O mean water contains both hydrogen and oxygen. So water is a compound because it contains atoms from more than one element hydrogen and oxygen in one particle. That's a compound. So that's pure substances. Now let's take a look at mixtures. The distinction between types of mixtures is basically you can have a mixture where you can't see the different parts, or you can have a mixture where you can see the different parts. So when you can't see the different parts of the mixture, that's called homogeneous. And when you can see the different parts, that's called heterogeneous. The prefix homo means the same, and the prefix hetero means different. So a homogeneous mixture is a mixture of the same throughout, and heterogeneous mixtures are when it's different throughout. You can see the difference. So some examples of a homogeneous mixture would be something like Kool-Aid, 
or salt water or you can even have mixtures of metals Th those are called alloys but steel is an example because that's a mixture of iron and carbon or bronze that's a mixture of copper and tin but you can't see the copper separate from the tin in the mixture also uh, just basically any mixture of metals in jewelry heterogeneous mixtures on the other hand um, you can have things like a salad you can see the different parts of the salad when you look at it or even salad dressing you can see the little bits floating around uh, in the salad dressing throughout so you, you can see the different parts so I hope that was helpful. Before we get into the nitty-gritty details of chemistry, we need to understand how matter can be classified. So here's the big view. Matter can either be a pure substance or a mixture. Pure substances are either elements or compounds. Mixtures can be either homogeneous or heterogeneous. And now I just want to give a maybe a clearer idea on the particle level, what's going on in an element, a compound, and a mixture. So elements, here's three different examples of elements. So the different shapes just represent different particles for different elements. So in this first sample, there's only one type of particle one type of atom if you will so the atoms are all the same that means this is an element here this is a different element because it's made up of atoms that are different and this is another element it has one type of atom but they're different than the others compounds this is a compound notice that the circle and the square are different elements but now they're joined together that's called a chemical bond we'll talk about that later in the course but these different atoms from different elements are joined together to make a molecule now this molecule is a particle it's one unit and so you can see in this box we have the same molecules so this is a pure substance because all the particles are the same but the particles are made up of more than one type of atom more than one type of element so it's a compound here we have another compound it's made from the elements square and triangle joined together in a chemical bond to make a molecule so this is a compound there's only one kind of particle, only one compound in this box, so this is a pure substance. Also here, we have one kind of molecule. It just so happens that the molecule is made up of three different elements, but they're all joined together in a chemical bond, but the molecule is the particle. It's a compound of more than one element. There's only one kind of compound in the box, so this box contains a pure substance. Now we look at mixtures. Here we have different elements in the box, and they're not joined together through a chemical bond. They are separate particles, so this is a mixture of two different kinds of pure substances. Also here, we've got squares and triangles they're not joined together in a chemical bond they're all separate so this is a mixture as well here we have a mixture we have circle and square separated we also have circle and square joined together in a chemical bond so yes this is a compound but this is not a compound they're not joined together in a chemical bond so this is a separate particle from this and this is a separate particle from the rest. So this is a mixture of three different substances. 
the circle particles, the square particles, and the circle square compound. So these are just to give you kind of a visual representation of the difference between elements, compounds, and mixtures.